Stephen, do you have any further reflections on last night? Now you've had the chance to, to sleep on it and how you, you look back. No, uh, the game's done. We, we won the game 1-0. We, uh, we need to park that up now and really focus on um, a tough league game uh, away at Ross County at the weekend. So it's all about preparation and getting the boys in the right place for that. Well, you have a new signing in place. Um, what will Janino add to the squad and how do you see him fitting in? He's a really big talent. Um, everyone should be really excited and looking forward to seeing him play. I think we have to be patient with him. He hasn't played much football of late. I think his last game was the 15th of June. Um, we believe he's a big talent. He just needs the right support around him. He needs the right environment to keep progressing and growing. And um, I believe we've got the right staff and the right players in the dressing room to help him keep progressing. But really looking forward to seeing him play. He's an attacking midfielder. He's got good range of passing. Um, he's a powerful boy. He likes taking it up to people and now playing. So um, he's got a lot of tools in his locker. Um, if he can put everything around that and we can give him the right place to evolve, um, he should be a big player for this club. Good morning, Stephen. Morning, Mark. You said last night after the game that, um, particularly with the second half performance, you didn't want to single out individuals. Mm. However, I was just wondering, perhaps it wasn't his best game that he's given you, but was that probably the most intense 45 minutes you'd get out of Giannis Hadji? I thought Giannis was superb for, for the majority of the game. He's, he's in a fantastic place. He's had a full pre-season. Um, he got that unfortunate kick against Livingston, which obviously set him back a bit. Um, but the kid just seems to be growing and evolving every single year. He's the ultimate professional. He wants to learn, he wants to grow, he wants to get better. Um, we all are well aware of the stable, where he's come from. Um, he's got a real iconic father figure who he wants to follow in the footsteps of. We don't want to put that pressure on him, but there's a lot of traits in terms of his professionalism and how he goes about it that he loves the game and he just wants it to improve and, and get to the top. So. Um, He's a pleasure to work with and we can see the developments in him every single season. He seems to be getting stronger, um, he's adapted to the league a lot better now and um, his performances have been really strong so far. I expect him to have a real good season if we can keep him healthy. In the aftermath of last night's game, um, obviously you would have had ideas in your head with your European squad and, and obviously the, the league and obviously the Celtic game coming up next weekend. Um, are you going to put that to one side and maybe worry about team selections for Thursday and next Sunday on Monday morning or are you going to use your rotation at the, the weekend? Well look, I think I'm excited about picking a team for the weekend. I think it's a real interesting game for us going up to Dingwall. Um, it's a game we're looking forward to, it's live on the TV. And that's my job is to try and pick the right team selection. Um, that, that's what we do. I, I'm, I'm not going to come on, on, on the media and, and give any clues away uh, which way I'm going in any direction. Um, but I'll pick the players that are in form that I think can do the job up there. It's as simple as that. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Can you put an update on uh, Fashion Sakala's um, injury and also our Namdi and Ryan Jack getting on? Ryan Jack's progressing well. Um, you know, he, he's getting closer and closer. Um, but obviously, Need to be patient with him. He's missed a lot of football, but he's one that we're really looking forward to having back. Ryan's a, a standard setter, someone who we've we've missed certainly this season. Um, so we're looking forward to getting him back. Namdi um, has got further tests next week, so we're hoping for some good news in terms of the tests. But he's been around the group. He's settled in well, and um, we just need to obviously try and get him back in a safe way um, and be patient on that one as well. Uh, Sakala's got a bit of a niggle in his groin. Um, I think he's paying for myself and the staff pushing him a little bit too quick. Maybe you know not getting a full pre-season and we, we've pushed him in a little bit too quick. Coming out of the hotel and you know putting him back into full training too quick. I think part of that little niggles on me as well. So that's a frustrating one. But what we don't want to do is put him in while it's niggling away and make it worse. So um, hopefully he won't be too far away as well. Also, can you give us a word on Ryan Kent? He's yet to hit the heights so, of. Uh last season. Is, is that a confidence thing with him just now? I think that's a question you need to ask Ryan when he faces the media. I'm sure he'll be facing the media in the coming weeks. Um, I think it's clear that he's not at his best level right now, um, but you know, as his manager and the staff will give him the support he needs to try and get him back in the best place as quick as we can. Uh, Ryan's been absolutely phenomenal for me and the club since he's walked through the door. Um, it's very rare to see him when he's not in top form. Um, but this is it, he's human, it, it happens. Um, I had more dips in form than anyone out there, so 
I understand that. He needs myself now and the staff and his teammates to get round him. And um, it'll only take that one bit of moment of, of brilliance or that one big performance and he'll be back in the place we need him. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Last night you said that even before tactics come into things, you have to show the right fight, desire and be committed to show the fans you're all in. Are you concerned that this is an issue for some of the group currently? And if it is, how do you stop it? I think I said earlier on in one question that we've moved on from last night. I've said what I've said. Um, it's about the next game. It's about moving forward. They're the non-negotiables that you need to have when you play for myself, this staff, this club, this team, these supporters. So I expect that every game. Unfortunately, in certain areas of the pitch last night, we never got that. Um, so let's hope it's a one-off. In terms of um, Janino Bakuna coming in, you've spoken before about the midfield needing to be strengthened. Can you tell the supporters a wee bit about what we can look forward to seeing in him? I think I already have during this press conference. Um, he's an attacking midfielder. He likes to get forward. He likes to make things happen in the final third. He's got a good range of passing. He's a powerful boy. Likes to take a shot on. He can create and score. Um, so he's one we're really looking forward to getting down on the training ground. He hasn't played much of late, so um, we won't be throwing him right into the mix. We'll be patient. We'll get us. We're doing some fitness assessments on him this morning to see where his levels at. Um, but he'll be within the group very shortly, whether it's you know next week or after after the international break. And um, he's one that the fans can really be looking forward to watching.